Something that's strange to see? Wake Forest being on top. Wake Forest winning the national championship. Yeah, it's strange. Very strange. But the day that these five brothers join this program, this program definitely been on the rise. So you could thank the Crawford brothers and the Crawford families for bringing this program from nothing to something. You see my middle brother, McKinley Crawford? This dude was the life of the party. I mean, you want to get the party started, get the party going? He was definitely the guy. But at the same time, he brought that fuel, he brought that fire, he brought that passion to the football team. He was the second to commit to Wake Forest. Though many thought it was laughable and a foolish mistake for him to choose Wake Forest, even though he could have went to like to George, Alabama, to Ohio State, or whatnot, he felt like he wanted to build up a powerful football program in Wake Forest. And he definitely did that. Now, for my fourth oldest brother, Eli Crawford, he was the same way, but one thing with him, he really didn't have the grades, so he really had to study his butt off and get his grades up. But other than that, I mean, this kid had size, speed. And one thing the coaches loved about this kid, this kid was not afraid to go across the middle, man. This kid was tough. But you know how you have some of those football players that are talented, but they don't know it? That's one of his reasons behind choosing Wake Forest. He wanted somebody that could bring it out the best in him. And for the wide receiver coach for Wake Forest, he was definitely gonna do that for my brother because like I see, as y'all see by the highlights, this kid had crossed a mixture between Brandon Marshall and Randy Moss. That's how talented he was. And he definitely won't go to a program. Of course, he could have chose the easy route, but he want to play a song like his brothers. Now, this is my older brother, Demarcus. Now, a lot of people say he's the most talented out of all five of us, but <laughs> I laugh when people say that, but this kid had work ethic like no other person I know. And no one playing in the country, no more quarterback in the country. This kid could have went to any school, but he chose Wake Forest. He wanted to stay close to home. Not only that, he definitely wanted to play with his other brothers. Geno Crawford, my other brother. The fourth ranked best player in the country at the cornerback position. Everything that you needed, wanted in the cornerback position, this kid had it, and then some. There's one small reason why a lot of big schools shied away from this kid. Simply because his freshman and sophomore season he really didn't take football seriously. Add on to that, he had a knack and knee injury his freshman and sophomore season. He had a setback, but that setback had a strong comeback, and he ended up becoming one of the best in the country. Now, of course, he wanted to continue to play for his brothers. They stayed close to home, and I left out the best player, the best person, <laughs> me. The freshly established MetLife Stadium is the home for this preseason matchup between the Titans and the Jets. Hello friends, Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. Just prior to kickoff for this primetime extravaganza, and this adds another whole layer of excitement have this game under the lights. Yeah, it makes it more exciting for the fans. It builds up their enthusiasm because they're out there uh, tailgating all day, getting ready for the game, but also for the players. They lay around no matter what you do during the day. All you can think about is the game. How's it going to work out for us? So I think we're going to see a lot of excitement because of that. Yo, what's good, everybody? Man, this story's a little bit different. It is a Madden 25 revamp and an ECAA football revamp series but kind of a twist instead of going forward to back we're gonna go backwards to forward and pretty much start off in the nfl and explain how he got to this point you feel me but our very first preseason game we are going against tennessee titans now of course we are the starter and we only play in the first quarter so we got to make the most of every opportunity that we get derrick henry picks up a first down first and 10 one-on-one -on -one with that boy cam y'all already know how it's going to turn out, man. I'm telling you, this storytelling behind it is going to be incredible, man. This boy is turned right now. Good job on first down. Yeah, man, I think this is going to be a fun series basically to explain how he got to this point. You know what I mean? So he did not, he did not 
you know, going to Wake Forest like his brothers, you know what I mean? He ended up choosing a different route, going to a different school, wasn't highly recruited like his brother, you know what I mean? So y'all gotta stick around for the storytelling on that. Like you, as you can see, we are playing on all pro. The all man and I tried it. Mm -mm. It ain't gonna happen, man. All pro is, is realistic, you know what I mean? It's fun, and right here, we put tag on with that boy Sauce. And Sauce, you supposed to pick that, man. But illegal touching by the receiver, but it, yeah, this is gonna be crazy, man. It's definitely gonna be fun. Hand off to the boy Derek Henry, and we end up making another tackle, man, as we end up winning that game 26 to 7, man. It, yo, <laughs> it's gonna be fun, man. This definitely gonna be a fun series. But y'all stick around, man. We are not finished with the video, man. Y'all stick around and watch it all the way through. The freshly established MetLife Stadium is the home for this preseason matchup between the Packers and the Jets. Hello friends, Jim Nance along with Bill Sim. Just prior to kickoff for this primetime extravaganza, and this adds another whole layer of excitement when you have this game under the lights. Yeah, it makes it more exciting. Second preseason game, man, we are taking on the Green Bay Packers here at home, and they do not have Aaron Rodgers. They end up drafting a quarterback in the you know, first or second round. As Rodgers gets it out, man, Jaron Hall. Is the go-to guy. I guess they said forget Jordan Love. <laughs> but Aaron Rodgers played for our team. And we, got a, we got a squad, man. We definitely got a squad, man. Decent, good front four. Y'all already know about Sauce. We got the safety. Got decent linebackers. And right here, I wanted to go in and get a sack, but you know, I wanted to cover the receiver. Mercedes Lewis ended up picking up a few yards, but third and seven. We're just playing our zone and Sauce. You got to pick that. He let old Sammy Watkins catch that for a first down, but that's okay. This preseason, you definitely want to, you definitely want, don't want to give it a job. You know what I mean? Don't want to risk an injury. And Franklin Myers ain't not getting a TFL right there, but second and nine on the play. We're going to keep clearing our zone, man. Bro, where is the coverage? As they get a first down, man. But like I said, like I said we only playing the first quarter, Ben, that we are the starters. You feel me? I got instant starters turned off, but being that this kid is drafted third overall in the first round, it's hard not to put this kid in starting rotation. But as you can see, from time to time, you're going to have to man up, man. You know what I mean? And we got our first interception. Yo, get out of the way. <laughs> Let's go. And this is a big dude, man. He's like a, a Cam Chancellor reincarnated, a bigger, faster, you know, a faster Cam Chan, this kid is 6'4", 234. Bro, this, this kid will lay the fucking boom on you, like, for real. But like I said, it, I will explain how he got to this point. But a good play call right there by Mac. And that's good for five yards. As they all 50% on third down. Bro, this is going to be crazy, man. You got a Cam and that boy Sauce on the same side of the field? Oh, he dropped it. <laughs> he dropped the end of the section, but he dropped it. He had the third game against Dak Prescott in the Dallas Cowboys. And right here, boy, Sauce is getting sauced up, man. And that's good for 20 on the play. But it, it's just refreshing, bro, that I get to play like Madden, man. It's just refreshing. And we're going to join in on the tackle right there. You know what I mean? But it, it's just refreshing that. You know, I'm just not stuck on revamp. You feel me? Not saying there's nothing wrong with that. But Davis with the interception, bro. This dude, I don't know what that was. You know, this dude was down. He got back up, but that's okay. Davis with an INT. And we thought offense would put some kind of points on the board, but they don't. But it's still a scoreless game. First and 10. You got that. You decide to take off, bro. bro yeah, you know. He's making his presence known early, bro. Early. His whisper was around the league as we get our first tackle in the preseason right there. If not, Pollard, Tony Pollard picks up five, man. It's no running east or west on this team. It, you just will not. Third and seven, man. Let, let's, let's lock shit down, man. Let's go. Mm-mm. We all on that. Oh, you can have that. 
You can have that. Still a scoreless game, man. That is crazy. But I, I, I kind of like this, though, because, you know, preseason, real life, you don't want your starters to play in the end up the whole game. You know what I mean? Just the first quarter, everybody get the nervousness out. The new season, you know, get everything going, get the adrenaline going. It, it feels good, man, to be drafted pro. What all kinds of time he get to, that, to Washington, bro? Only a three-man rush, but that, that's, that's unacceptable. That kind of much time to throw the ball. Mm-mm. Yes, sir. We'll take that. As I said, man, it's definitely going to be a fun series. I don't think nobody else on YouTube and NCAA football community or the Madden community to do this. You know what I mean? Everybody, you know, go from high school to college. But this right here, that's a good cover set. But this series right here is start off in the NFL and explain how he got to the NFL. You feel me? And that have an overall draft pick. But fourth and final preseason game going against Patrick Mahone, the Super Bowl champion, and Jones, all kinds of white jerseys. And frankly, Myers is having a decent, pretty decent preseason game, man. Patrick Mahomes end up getting sacked. They definitely don't want that dude to get injured. You definitely do not want that man to get injured, man. But right now we up three to nothing, second and seven, playing our zone. And where is the coverage? It's Miko. He said, oh, no, he did not catch that. I thought he did. But third and seven. Across the middle as Miko picks up a first down. That is good for 16 on the play. They've got to watch out for Travis Kelsey, man. Uh-uh. Let's go. Second pick of the preseason game. That boy is turned. To get an interception on Patrick Mahomes, bro, that's crazy. And then you gonna try to read I said, bro, we here. Bro, we are here, man. But y'all let me know, comment below what y'all think about this serious idea. And right here, look at the orange street. Look at the accuracy. Valdez Scantley, a pickup of 57 on the play. Mahomes got that cannon, man. Oh, he just a fumble. <laughs> to the fumble. Y'all let me know what y'all think of the series idea, man. If y'all liking it, loving it, man. As we end up beating the Kansas City Chiefs, man. We are 4-0 in the preseason. Sorry, Andy Reid, man. But it is what it is. As we end up winning that game 30-9. to Like I said, y'all let me know. Comment below what y'all think of the series ideas. What do y'all rank? What would y'all give your boy Cam as far as preseason overall? What, what grade would y'all give him? Y'all let me know, comment below, like, comment, subscribe on the video, man. Definitely greatly appreciate it. You know, I didn't forget about the other revamp series, man, the revamp series. That is coming as well. But here are the stats for the four preseason game. We finished with five tackles, three tackles for loss, no sex, two interceptions. Big kid, man. I kind of revealed what he went to school at, but that's okay. 6'4", 232. Um, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think of this series idea man instead of going forward to back we're going backwards to forward you feel me so um like i said i i am revealing where he went to school at but that's okay man but we'll go ahead and simulate the next video will be the first regular season game man see y'all doing see y'all then the tree i want to salute every nigga who run with me and it's a secret everything that you done with me because it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty family